Hi guys, I wanted to come on here and make a quick video and um, talk about uh, how we need to be loving each other, you know, and not arguing and not fighting, you know, and looking out for each other, you know. Um, uh, it is very important right now in in our walks that um, we start finding that that loving part in us, you know, and uh, sharing that with other people. And letting them know, you know, that they are loved, not only from us, but from Jesus, who absolutely loves them more than anything in this world, who, you know, who's there with them. There's so many people out there, you know, who are, like, um, hooked on drugs, hooked on prescription pills, alcoholics. I mean, there's so many of them out there. And, and the ones that I know, you know, they, they believe in Lord. Like, they do, they believe in the Lord. And um, they they think, oh, I'm fine. You don't know how I am, and you don't know my my bond with the Lord. You know, they're right. We do not know the, their bond between them and the Lord, but they're they're lukewarmers, and they have no idea that they're lukewarm. And the Lord will spit them out of His mouth. Um, if I mean, the the way you can break your addiction to anything that is of this world is through Jesus when you receive his holy spirit when you surrender your life to him and you ask to um have Jesus into your life you received his holy spirit and um that gives you strength to overcome anything that you've been addicted to of this earth um if you if you ask the Lord to be in your life and you surrendered and you're still hooked on drugs and you're coming up with the same excuse, oh, Jesus don't do anything for me, I, I already surrendered my life and he hasn't done anything for me, well, it's because you didn't do your part of what you asked for. You didn't go to him with a open heart and a full heart. You didn't humble yourself to him and believe with everything in yourself that he will in, come into inside you and fill you with his Holy Spirit and show you his truth and his ways and walk right beside you, you know, and help you overcome these addictions. It's because you didn't give it your whole heart. If you're not hearing from him and you're not getting signs and you're not progressing and um, uh, leaving things that you've been so used to, you know, I, I see people on here that are my brothers and sisters in Christ and, you know, some of the things that I've heard that they've done, you know, everyone's, I put my testimony on here, but other people, you know, some of you used to love being, playing basketball, like, loved it, they absolutely loved it, they gave it up, they, they gave that up because they would rather be with the Lord, you know, and the things that, the things of this earth, it doesn't matter, when you find the Lord and you have him in your life and his Holy Spirit, you don't care to do anything of this world. You just want to focus your time and your thoughts and your life and focus it all on Jesus. You just want to walk with him. You want to know his truth. You want to be shown dreams. You want to receive his gifts. You just want to feel his love. You want to share and tell him how much you love him. You want to pray. You want to pray for others. You want to be loving. You want to be kind. You want to face humility. You don't want to be depressed. You don't want to uh, be angry. You don't want to hurt other people. You know, and people that do not have the Holy Spirit in them, you'll find that they still have bitterness inside them. They still are very angry with the world, with people. They, they want to hurt other people. They want to fight other people. They want to think nasty thoughts about somebody. Um, and they don't want to overcome their addiction. Uh, be, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. Find Jesus. Find him before it's too late. Find him. He will help you overcome this. Get up out of your bedrooms that you hide in and you're depressed or you're on prescription drugs or whatever it may be. You lost somebody. You know, believe and have faith that your Lord has that person waiting for you with open arms and it's soon going to happen where you're going to be reunited with those people. You get yourself up and you fight this, this spiritual battle that you're going through and break those chains. You find Jesus and he will break those chains for you. He will. What is there 
to sit in your room or to be out with a bunch of other people who are doing drugs. I mean, what fun and excitement is that? It's, there's nothing. It's dead. It's just dead and miserable. There's no joy in it. It's every day you're, you're ex like anxious and your anxiety is just raising on how you're going to find the next, the next money to get your drug or your alcohol or your prescription pills. Get off of it. Find Jesus. Find him before it's too late. Don't choose the, the broad path. You find the narrow path. The Lord will take you off of this stuff. He will. Believe it with your whole entire heart. Stop having good time, Charlie, in, in the drugs and alcohol and all that stuff. And have good time, good time, Jesus. It's time to have good time, Jesus. And wake up. I just, I pray for all of you guys, that you guys who are just down in the dumps, that you pick yourselves up and just know that you are better than that. You are so much better than what you're giving yourself credit for. And the Lord is right there next to you just waiting for you to take his hand so he could do the rest. Believe it with your whole heart. If you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, you're going to get left behind. That's gnashing of teeth that's left behind and just torture. Don't put yourself in that. You have a chance right now to bring light and joy into your life by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. God bless. I pray for each one of you and I love you all. Bye.